Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam Kwok, one of the Kwok brothers, real estate investor and the author of the book, Fire Your Boss. And in this video today, I wanna to show you why Grant Cardone may be wrong about just buying multifamily exclusively. Now, his argument, I totally get it, uh, is about single families being a weaker investment in terms of uh, operation. Like for example, if you have one single family investment property, and if that property goes vacant, well, you still have to pay the mortgage, you still have to pay taxes, you still have to pay insurance, and you may be bleeding money until you can get a tenant in. Whereas in a multifamily, let's say in a 24 unit apartment building, you know, having one vacancy isn't gonna really hurt you, right? Now, bottom line, I do respect Grant's, I, I, Grant Cardone's uh, opinion. I respect what he does. Uh, he's a tremendous individual and I wish the best of luck to him as far as uh, growing his already big business. Um, I wanna give you more of an objective opinion as far as why uh, multi-family buildings are not necessarily uh, a better investment than a single family. Now, to give you my background, uh, my, my name is Sam once again, one of the Quack Brothers. Uh, this year alone, we have raised about $3.1 million in private capital. Uh, we bought 20 rental units without using any of our own cash or credit. I mean, we started broke, we started poor. Uh, and next week, just next week, we're, gonna about, we're about to close a 36 unit apartment building. And sometime in next month, we're gonna be closing a 24 unit apartment building. Uh, if, of course, the closing date doesn't get moved, right? So. Just to give you an idea, and I want to give you an objective uh, opinion as far as why multifamily is not necessarily always a better investment vehicle in terms of real estate investing. Now, I'm going to give you pros and cons of both things, single family and multifamily. Now, these two investment uh, types, right, as far as real estate, uh, they have different challenges and benefits uh, that each of them may, may share and, and don't share. For example, like I mentioned in single family apartment or single family residential buildings, when you have a vacancy, that's trouble, right? Especially if that's your only single family residential uh, rental property. Uh, with, however, with single family residential buildings, you necessarily sometimes get better tenants, right? That seems to be the trends that, that I'm facing. This is just my experience of renting out both single family, multifamily, right? Um, so with single family buildings, you tend to get more of the families that live there. They take care of the building. They take pride in living in a single family. They have a garage, privacy. Um, and usually, let's say you own 30 separate single family residential, having one bad, bad tenant isn't gonna hurt the rest of your portfolio. Now, on the flip side, on multifamily, the, the con, the, the, the challenge that comes with multifamily is that if you have one bad tenant, um, there's a very likelihood, a ch high chance that the entire apartment is going to start turning into a bad, bad tenant situation. Like if you have a 24 unit apartment building and you have one bad tenant in there, you're going to have 23 bad tenants because this tenant is causing troubles and all the other tenants are going to be reacting to those troubles by adding more trouble so that there goes your problems. Also, you're going to see some expenses on the multifamily side that you're not going to see in the single family side. For example, you're going to see public utilities that you got to pay for, right? Uh, public gas, public electricity, sewage and garbage. Uh, you're going to have to pay for a parking lot maintenance. You're going to have to pay for, if there's a swimming pool, you're going to have to pay for the swimming pool maintenance. So, I mean, the list goes on and on with the expenses. Usually a P&L statement, profit loss statement on a multifamily is, is going to be a little larger than a single family. It's going to be longer. Um, but the, the pro, the benefit with multifamily is the acquisition side is cheaper per unit. So typically here in the Midwest in Chicago, you can buy a, uh, a multifamily for $30,000, $40,000 a unit, sometimes cheaper. Um, and and it, it's great because it saves you time because uh, you're bought, buying in bulk, right? Um, another thing is that the rents on single family units are tend to be higher than multifamily, right? A single family apart, a single family building here in Chicago area can range anywhere between 900 to 2000. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. On a multifamily, it's slightly less. You know, you're looking at 600 to 1200 depending on your area and what type of class um, you know, in terms of quality of that building. Um, financing is different too, right? On, on a multifamily, five units and up, you're looking at commercial financing. On a single family residential, you're looking at just regular um, residential commercial loan, right? It, 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 there's a different type of process that goes into a different type of financing that you'll see. So with that being said, uh, multifamily apartment building is not necessarily better than single family per se. There are pros and cons like I've said, there's different challenges you're gonna face, apples to oranges. 
And so for Grant Cardone to say, oh, multifamily is better than single family, um, I get where he's coming from, but this is more of a question about what type of investor are you, right? If your strength and your weakness lines better with um, managing and owning rental properties, single family residential, thumbs up, right? That, you know, if you, if you can make more money there, go there. But if you're more aligned to doing multifamily, then yeah, uh, go with Grant's advice about buying multifamily versus single family. So it really comes down to uh, your strengths, your ability to handle different types of challenges, uh, your background, uh, and your financial worth all as far, as far as how you can manage different types of investment, all right? So my message, my bottom line to you is, multifamily is not better than single family. In fact, there are different pros and cons like we talked about. And you gotta ask yourself, what are my strengths and weaknesses that could better align with different types of investment vehicle? So guys, I hope that this video helped you. Uh, this video is not an attack to Grant Cardone. Again, I respect him, I uh, respect his business, but I wanna give you more an objective point of view as far as multifamily, single versus single family. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, click like, and um, help us out, support us by subscribing. All right, take care now. Guys.